Hello. Thanks for joining me tonight on Flea's Bourbon Journey. Tonight I want to introduce you to a concoction that I'm creating in front of you for the first time. I have had my Old Forester 1910. It's a good whiskey. It's a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 46.5% alcohol by volume, 93 proof. And I like it by itself. I like it when it's blended 50-50 with Old Forester 1920, which is a 115 proof offering. But tonight we're going to do something just a little different. We're going to do something that I'm reasonably certain I'm going to like, and I think you will too. We're going to start with my rocks glass. To my rocks glass, we're going to add one of my square cubes, ice that is. It's coincidence. Now we're going to take two ounces of the Old Forester 1910. Now those of you that don't know, Old Forester has several different offerings. Um, I'm currently the proud owner of the 1897 which is a bottled in bond 100 proof offering. I also have this, the 93 proof offering in the form of the 1910, the 1920, which is the 115 proof offering. And then I also have an unopened bottle over there of Statesman that I haven't tried yet. And I believe that's 95 proof. We'll get to the other ones, but tonight 1910 is going to shine. So we've got our two ounces of Old Forester 1910 on a cube. To that, I'm gonna take my eight ball premium American chocolate flavored whiskey, 33% alcohol by volume, 66 proof. And what we're gonna do is we're going to blend about a half an ounce of this. Now that's gonna give us two things. Number one, it's going to give us some sweetness because the eight ball is a rather sweet liqueur. That might have gone a little over a half an ounce. The second thing is obviously it's going to give us the chocolate flavor. Now in my own opinion, I believe that will be a complementary flavor to the flavors that I find in the Old Forester 1910 neat. To further enhance the flavor complements, we're going to add a couple of black cherries from the filthy black cherry. These are wild Italian Amarena cherries. It's important to know not to refrigerate these. It even says it right there on the back of the bottle. Okay, do not refrigerate. I've made that mistake. I've corrected for that mistake. They still taste fine. They just sometimes look a little funny. And here go in, we'll go three, just cause I love these things. And we'll add a touch of their syrup. Okay, so what we have here is we have a very, very simple cocktail made with Old Forester 1910, eight ball chocolate flavored liquor, a cube that will keep everything cooled off, and pick your preference, but I like the filthy brand Amarino cherries. They're very good. You put these all together you let them chill out for a couple of minutes here. And then you take a taste and see what you think. I forgot to bring a coaster to put my spoon on. Rookie mistake. I guess I'm entitled to a few mistakes here and there. What about you? What are some of the mistakes that you've made recently with your cocktails or your whiskeys or your bourbons? Maybe some things that you were less than proud of or what about happy mistakes? What are some things that you've done that have turned into something that actually was better than you thought it would have been? My chocolate 1910. Just as I suspected, the chocolate flavors complement very well into the 1910. Adding the cherry brings out a little bit more of that cherry flavor that's in the flavor profiles of the 1910. 
Very simple to make. You can get the eight ball for around $30, maybe less, depending on where you're picking it up, 25, 20. The Old Forester 1910, you can find that for between 48 and $55 locally. And the Filthy Black Cherries, uh, you can pick those up at most uh, area locations that sell the Old Forester will likely also have the Filthy Cherries. They're between 11 and $12 for uh, the small jar here. Well, there you have it. Thanks for joining me on Flea's Bourbon Journey. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and like it. If you know somebody else who might like this, share it. And if you'd like to see what I do next, don't forget to subscribe. Again, thanks for joining me tonight on Flea's Bourbon Journey. I hope you enjoy your bourbon journey. Stay safe.